Realme has been really upping its game with the continuous introduction of its new devices. You recently saw the mid-range phone GT Master Edition and its very first laptop, the Realme Book. Now, we see the company's very first tablet. The Realme Pad aims to be that affordable option when looking for new tablets, but it promises an immersive multimedia performance for your day-to-day -day needs. Hey guys, Kevin here. You're with The Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. This is our Realme Pad review. The Realme Pad is obviously made for portability, hence its small size and thin form factor. It's a little bit thicker than an iPad mini and is larger because of the screen. It's also boxy in terms of its shape with hard, slightly curved edges all around. Realme sent us the pad in this real gold color, which is the choice if you're going for elegance and class. This isn't a premium tablet, definitely, but you're getting a really premium look. The aluminum back has a simple frosted finish with the silver accent running down its long edge, crossing the rear camera. If real gold isn't for you, you can opt for the more stealthy, real grey color. And handling your imaging needs, there's a single lens for the rear which slightly protrudes while the front camera is hidden in the display's bezels. The tablet has a good heft to it but it's definitely not heavy. It's ideal for two-handed use like streaming shows or movies. I like the idea of tablets that you get a nice screen real estate when browsing in portrait but flip it to its side and you have a more immersive multimedia experience. For buttons and ports, the left remains clean while on the right we have the volume rocker, microphones and a micro SD card tray. Up top we have the power button and first pair of speakers while on the bottom we find the second pair of speakers, 3.5mm headphone port and USB-C port. There's no fingerprint sensor here though, so you'll have to rely either on pin, pattern, or face unlock for security. Fronting the Realme Pad is a 10.4-inch LCD display that offers up to 2000 by 1200 resolution. Bezels are noticeable but acceptable for a tablet in this segment. This extra bezel gives you extra holding space during operation. The screen also offers good vibrance. It does lack a bit in brightness but if you stay mostly indoors, this shouldn't be a problem. Although, if you're usually out and about, you may have some troubles with its display since the screen glares quite a bit. But I was pleasantly surprised when it comes to the speakers on this device as they were able to output high quality sound. This is also thanks to Dolby Atmos and Hi-Res certified audio. Utilizing its four speakers, the Realme Pad is able to blast full and balanced sounds even at loud volumes. A little more bass wouldn't hurt but you're already experiencing more than what you would normally get at this price. With its small size, vibrant screen, and great sound, you'll easily get an enjoyable personal entertainment experience with this device. Additionally, the Realme Pad offers different eye comfort options including reading, dark, and night mode so binge nights will be easier on your eyes. The Realme Pad comes equipped with an 8 megapixel camera for the rear and an 8 megapixel one for the front. Cameras on tablets aren't really their selling point, so don't expect quality that's on par with other Realme smartphones like, say, the Realme GT Master Edition. Photos of the rear camera come out okay. With enough light, you get pretty clear photos with not much noise. Low light isn't so great, but again, you probably won't be whipping this out to take shots often. The front performs similarly to the rear, but what I like about the front camera is that it's positioned on the long edge, which makes it great to use for video calls or Zoom meetings, something we all do these days. Working in tandem with the device's dual mic noise cancellation, this tablet can really accompany you through those meetings. The UI here is also much simpler compared to Realme's phones. You only have three modes, video, photo, and expert mode, and settings are as basic as they can be. Not necessarily a bad thing because again, tablet cameras are usually built this way. At the heart of the Realme Pad is a Helio G80 processor. For RAM and storage, it comes in two configurations and what we have here is the base variant housing 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Yes, the Helio G80 is an older mid-range processor but is able to keep up with basic everyday tasks. 
Browsing social media or even answering emails could be done quite comfortably. Start piling open apps though, and the device starts to exhibit a little bit of struggle. This tablet runs on what Realme calls UI for Pad, which is close to stock Android and comes with almost no bloatware. It is less sophisticated than what Realme offers on its smartphones, but it's decently fast and offers enough features to get by. Apps do take a beat to open and close especially if the tablet has been running for a good while. But a quick cleanup can have it running smoothly again. And additionally, since Realme is building its ecosystem, other Realme devices like the Realme Band or Watch can be used to unlock the tablet. Nearby Share also allows seamless file exchanges and open up auto connection instantly identifies and connects to Realme's earphones. You can even cast your tablet natively to a Realme TV. Moving on, we noticed that the 32GB internal storage is easy to fill up, especially if you'll be installing heavier apps. I just installed Genshin Impact and could no longer install other games that are heavy in file size. Well, fortunately, the Realme Pad offers up to 1TB of storage expansion via microSD card. And that's a lot of space. I tried playing Genshin Impact on the Realme Pad but it's not the most ideal experience. Well, this is a pretty demanding game so it's not really a surprise. But other games that are not that resource heavy should work just fine. Though you may have to settle for minimum graphics settings. But with its specs and features, the Realme Pad isn't really that cut out for gaming anyway. But where it does shine is for your multimedia needs. As mentioned earlier, watching on this tablet is an enjoyable experience. And apps like Netflix or YouTube work without issues. The device also carries Widevine L1 certification so you can enjoy HD content. For connectivity, you've got a pretty standard set including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth but Realme does offer a 4G variant so you can stay connected even while on the go. Overall, the Realme Pad is definitely more of a binge watcher's tablet than a gamer's. And if you're just looking for a tablet to take care of basic needs like social media and life work, this device takes care of that very well. Just don't have too many apps open at the same time. On the battery front, the Realme Pad has a 7100 milliamp hour battery that supports 18 watts of quick charge. Its battery capacity is just about right for a tablet its size and is able to last a good while. In our tests, the Realme Pad lasted almost two full days with intermittent use. And that's with social media browsing, streaming, and some really light gaming. The Realme Pad also has a reverse charging feature so you can use the tablet to power up your other devices in a pinch. And as always in our reviews, The Modern Creatures aims to find special features and devices that make them worth having. Their creature feature. And for the Realme Pad, it would definitely have to be its immersive quad speakers. The four speakers on board the Realme Pad output sound that's full and beyond what you'd expect for a tablet in its price range. It's loud and detailed and makes listening to music or even streaming videos much more enjoyable. Realme is a fairly young brand with many firsts in the last year. Its first laptop was a successful foray into a new category and we can say that this Realme Pad is more or less the same. For an affordable price of just 10,990 pesos for this specific variant, you're getting a premium looking and affordable tablet that offers enough features to make it usable every day and by anyone. And that's about it for the Realme Pad. Now tell us, will this tablet be your next multimedia partner? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.